Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Uh, and that's good. what they're saying. Country made, made $70 million. <laughs> that's Get in there. Because they're saying paper money is going to go away. It's been going away. Yeah, they say yeah, no, nobody's going to The value cash. is gone. It's, it's been gone away. <laughs> what are you talking about? You use credit cards. Yeah. You use debit cards. What, you know what I'm saying? I still love cash. Me too. We got to use it. <laughs> we got to use it. Yeah, yeah. Y'all stunned though. See, that's the difference. Y'all pull it out. Yeah, I got money. But yeah, but what, you, got to, you got a card. It's, it's more. But it's what's going to happen to those people who, you know, didn't trust the banks, didn't trust cars, and sticking money underneath their mattress. Mattress or in the, or What's going to happen box. to that? What do you mean? Because that money still going to have value. not going to have no value. You, you still, people buying gold. Gold's never going to go anywhere. I know. People <laughs> 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 buy gold and keep it. You know, there's other ways to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's not just uh, the banks. I mean, you know, see, I'm a poor guy, so I don't know any. Uh, you know, <laughs> hey, man, all, all I know is, is you've been working a long time, bro. For free. <laughs> For free? Oh, no. Nah. Ah, that dude oh, is something nah. else. For free. So, what's, okay, out of all the film that you've ever done, which one you, say, you would say is your favorite? Mine is uh, um, Made. Why? 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 Because it's the first film ever uh, written for me. Um, and it started the whole Elf Couples Retreat. The same mm -hmm. writer, John Favreau, who's a good friend of mine. Uh, he's, you know, he's created Iron Man and the, mm -hmm. Basically, the Marvel world, all the Marvel movies. I thought Thank it was the you old so man, much. The old guy. That's Stan. That's the guy who created the character. Character. The movies. Mm. The person who started Marvel films was Wesley Snipes. Mm. I seen that. I, I seen that. He was the first was, one. Yeah, it was Blade, Blade was the first character. Yeah. From that character came Spider Man. Because Marvel's stock was two dollars in, in 1996. They were going under. And Blade brought that shit back. And then they did Spider-Man and created Marvel Studios. And um, John did Iron Man. And it went from there. And that thing oh, now, I and love still, Marvel. It I makes watch a lot every of money. single movie. I love my, me some Marvel. Yeah. yeah. We have a new one coming to Spider-Man coming out. I movie. know. I yeah. can't wait. <laughs> I, I wanted to ask you about your the, the, the blood from New York. How does that happen? What do you mean? You you was you a blood but you from New York. You Ooh. start yeah, they say you started your career of when you got initiated as a as a uh, well, first of all, no 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 know. no yeah you yeah it was a it was a Are you gonna tell me? No, no. <laughs> A guy sent me this question. He said, man, he he blood, but he he started in New York. I say, Well, no. I thought they from LA. How he end up no, over no. there? I, we I we used to go back and forth in New York. Okay. Now we that makes sense. Family now, back yeah. and forth in New York. But, <laughs> Cause I say talk about Dave East, I have but family I have family in New York. I used to live in the Bronx. Okay. I used to live in Harlem. But then we um moved to California. We moved to California, San Diego seventy two. Damn, I, you were young and I was young too. I was only one, <laughs> nigga. You were five or four. 72, I was, yeah. You was five yeah. or four. Yeah. I rode a plane back from New York. And you remember all of that? I had a, I used to have a picture of me on the plane eating a hot dog. Because you ever heard of Rodney Alley Whippy? Rodney Alley Sounds Whippy. familiar. Oh, my God. It good, sounds good. familiar. Rodney Alley Whippy represented Jack in the Box. He's a little black kid. He ate a hamburger. And yes. said, Rodney, how I just was didn't that? know his name, but yeah. I looked just like him. So people was like, it's Rodney Allen Whippy. <laughs> it's Rodney Allen Whippy. I was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, <laughs> I remember that as a kid. But uh, yeah, my family going back and forth. Back and forth. Military. Uh, military. Well, uh, it was just my mom and my father. And then my uncle and my aunt, when my aunt just passed, um, that's they right. didn't have no kids. Okay. So, my mother, you know, trying to—they were trying to, you know, establish something. It was easy for me to stay there with them. They were like babysitters. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, for six months I'd be in New York, then I come back, and I got used to it. I was like, "Yeah, I'm ready to go back to New York." <laughs> so I was in New York when all this shit began. Ooh, this that was a good time. Were you doing all that breakdancing? Yeah, you were doing. No, he wow. did a little bit. You wow. had to do a little I was, bit. I was a DJ. 
Oh, oh, so they got you out I was, of it. I was that nigga. Yeah. But DJ still got to do all of oh, that. Oh, no. I, had I, was, K, I challenged KL, KL from uh, Beast by the Pound. Mm-hmm. We were about to do it in here. I, this flow right here, I said, nigga, you can't. Oh, no, no. I was. I, I seen, was about to go in. I seen all that. I uh, couldn't get up. Yeah, I would have been messed up. <laughs> when I, <laughs> I used to see all that. Nigga spin on the head. Oh, he broke his neck. I'm like, damn. <laughs> oh, used no. to, you used to hear stuff like that. I ain't all right, break I, oh, they used to break parts. These boy was serious, windmilling, hurt. Yeah, dudes, I was into yeah, it. I, mean, I, I used to watch Crazy Legs. They're the professionals. Listen, the New yeah. York City. No, there was some young niggas around they that was, couldn't they do it right. Down. I mean, I don't know, but <laughs> these, these niggas was getting down. Because the California, they wasn't doing that. No, it was just up on the, on the East Coast. Yeah, it was like, and they was the Pumas and all that shit. I was like, damn. Pumas, because we was wearing croker hats and yeah, you know, different uh, times. That's when they was doing the Kangol hats and stuff like the that. Kangol yeah, hat, the, right? The, yeah, the yeah. buckles with your name, mm-hmm. yeah, the yeah. big chains uh, and all the of that. big chain, everything. Yeah, that was um, b boy, the b boy, b boy time. Stuff. So, when uh, I remember going back to New York when I was probably about fourteen, no thirteen, and I had a khaki. Cause we used to wear khaki suits. And they were like, man, why you dressed like the janitor? <laughs> Wait, Them what? khaki suits, boy. But I, was, I thought I was clean. They was but, like, you, so we went to- We talking about the Dickies up? and all them. Back was it the, creased up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I oh, seen yeah. two kids in Atlanta. Had, and I was so impressed. Oh, wait, they were from, like, uh, I think Detroit. And I was like, dang, man, what they 13 just walking through the mall. I was too, uh, brown and, and the that blue. that was not in Didn't you see that? Yeah, I remember I, that. I asked them, I said, man, y'all doing y'all thing. You're <laughs> Let me tell you. Work parents I ever do. They smuggle this stand up on their own. Cr- yeah. <laughs> that was so crazy to me when I came here for the first time and I saw everybody doing creased up pants. And I'm like, you can actually hear it. Oh, yeah, that's how you do and it. I'm like, that is so crazy. You do the shirt too. Get the military with the sh- Yeah, you want to. When you go to school, you ready to fight. You want to be like. You got to be ready. <laughs> We fight all day long. <laughs> yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.